PES 2020 is the football game right now that you can actually have the most fun on and there's a lot of you guys trying it out so in this video I'm actually going to be showing you all how to get PES for free the ultimate team equivalent and also talking about the fundamentals that you need to know about it how does it actually work and how you can get started so just before we get into it if you are new here make sure that you do subscribe I'm gonna make lots more videos just like this one whenever anything new is going to be released I'm going to be making a video breaking it down and fully explaining it to you guys so definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos so getting straight into this one now how do you actually get PES you just pretty much want to go onto your PlayStation or Xbox store and search PES Lite this will give you full access to PES My Club which is the equivalent to Ultimate Team it is 40 gigabytes to download and there is nothing to lose it's completely free so why not you might as well try it see how it is so the basics to actually know about PES My Club PES Ultimate Team it is, doesn't actually have a transfer market so of course very popular on FIFA Ultimate Team the main thing is that it has a transfer market where we can buy and sell cards and actually make coins but this is not in PES all the players are actually earned by objectives and the very good pack system that it does actually have and once you get these players it is actually set up to actually keep them in your team keep working with these cards because they can actually be upgraded to higher levels which kind of reminds me of something like career mode and we do regularly see this sort of thing in PES My Club which is actually kind of a nice feature so the packs do actually have different types so we do have black balls these are the best they are the equivalent to walkouts in FIFA and then you also have gold silver bronze and white balls so of course those are all different and I do believe it does actually increase your chances each time you do have a percentage of getting black balls gold balls etc and does actually get better the more you open packs so in the medium long term that's actually a very nice feature that Konami have added so we do actually have two currencies in PES my club the first one is my club coins which are like FIFA points but you can also earn them for free by completing objectives at the start there's so many objectives that you can do it is extremely easy you don't have to spend any real money on this at all to actually get them and then we also have GP which is just the standard currency the same as coins that we do have in FIFA so a really nice thing as well you actually get daily login bonuses the same thing that we did have right at the start of FIFA 20 for the companion app and the web app we'd actually have this all year round on PES so it's a really good way to actually work your way up to build a really good foundation so I definitely recommend you make sure that you are logging in every single day it's an extremely easy way of actually working your way up and building a better team so also something that you must know is there's actually no chemistry instead you do actually have team spirit which works the same way is actually replacing it right at the start it is going to be quite low around 70 and you do actually improve this it's not by switching around players anything like that trying to get links in your team it is actually just playing with the team playing with those same players and actually doing this over time so each time you are going to play it is slowly going to actually increase so don't try and don't worry about it first of all when you do start there's no way of actually improving it unless you are going to be playing games so do not be surprised about that and now also I'm going to give you guys some quick gameplay tips just quite briefly because a lot of us are actually struggling if you are actually trying to score more goals I do recommend to actually stop sprinting and then shoot it does seem to work better in PES and also to actually take a heavy touch it is quite useful it's actually double tapping the sprint button so on PS4 for me that is actually R2 there are a few controls that are a bit different and you do need to actually get used to them also tackle is actually extremely important you can double tap the button you would normally do it on FIFA so it is the same as your pass button on PlayStation that is double tapping X and also when you are actually defending don't hold down L2 or your equivalent whatever you are using on Xbox FIFA it is jockeying but in PES it is actually used to manually aim a pass so make sure that you are going to be avoiding that that is what a most common problem I think most of us are facing but using all of these gameplay tips and also what you have actually learned in PES My Club you guys should have a massive head start compared to all of the other people coming from FIFA Ultimate Team and trying out PES so share this video with them to actually help them out as well and definitely comment down below if you guys have any other questions and I'll try my best to get back to you thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time